Okay, second violins, let's do some Dvorak fourth movement. Okay, so I think the beginning you've got, but let's do it a little slowly. One, two, three, four. One and two and three, four. One and two and three, four. sharp is really high so and these you can play not a lot of bow so black your first finger on both strings stop your bow on the rest stop Our 16th note. So you can do Divisi, so the top. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. Okay, and the bottom. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. Okay? Then the chords. Don't do. Don't do all that. So I would do Divisi so you don't have to do these open E's. So vibrate, fast bow, and then. If you're doing the bottom, two, make sure you vibrate, two, three, four, you could do that, but I think it's iffy, so I should, I think you should do the BC. Again, do the BC, or, okay, then, so here, don't use a ton of bow. You can use fourth finger or open, whatever you can do cleanly, so, or, okay, not a ton of bow, two, three, four, two, three, two, three, four, So really stop your bow and articulate each of these notes. Now do three, one, low three on F sharp so that you can touch two for C naturally. You don't have to it'll be sloppy. So okay, so this is the uh, uh, the next measure after rehearsal one. natural and F sharp touch, so low Go. 
go to first position, so open E. Uh, you could also, if you don't like the open E, you could do, well, you could do this first open E. And then you could go to third position here. Two, three, four, two. Okay? So then faster at two to get a little feel. So let's do that, 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 one, two, three, four. Okay, and then these are sixteenths. So do two on F sharp, low one on D sharp. So do it on the same string. So low one. position now so the same thing so one this will be up bow so up position. Uh, I think it's probably easier for you guys to stay in first position. So B flat, make sure it's low enough. And then I would I would use four, but you can also use open. Here definitely four. So you don't have a big crossing. Then B flat, make sure that B flat is low. C sharp. Now C sharp on the G string. Now you could either do here, extension, or you could cross over, okay? And then make sure you're stopping your bow, so... You can do Debussy on your pits as well, okay? Then, before three... Soft as you really go towards the fingerboard or over the fingerboard, very light, float your bow, and then treble low at three. Don't use open. And again, towards the fingerboard or over the fingerboard. And just use your hand, you don't need to hold your bow even. And when you do these swells, they're very little. Okay? Then when we get to after three, the third line of rehearsal three, those are 16th notes. So it's probably, you can do fourth finger. Then I would definitely shift so you don't have to go. You can do that, but that's harder. So then shift to third position. So three, one. Then you can shift to first again. Shift to third. That one changes those. So one E and a two E and a change. Three E and a four E and a first position. That one's tricky. So definitely reach is a big stretch from G sharp to F natural. Or you could do low four. So instead of uh, high three on G sharp, you could do low four. So be careful on that measure. So. the 
sixteenths before that were slurred. You can give yourself little accents to help you practice. to this part the with the slurred string crossings so I would I would do this right away in third position so one one two so you have to have your first finger on both strings at the same time so so that's open one one blocks two two Touching. Back to the first chord. Open one, one. So if you didn't move your first finger, then you're still, you're already there. So. Much easier. Don't pick up your first finger. Okay, so then we have that one. And the triplets. Again, your first finger is still down. Then two on E flat. First finger is still down. Two on E natural. And this one is uh, you can reach for up for C sharp. Or you could also. You could shift other way. It's fine for that one. Okay, then if you stayed up, it would be four, and these touch. So okay, or you could do in first position. Low two one. Two and one, one and two. So, okay. Um, let's see. So then we have marcato. So at the frog. Okay. So I would definitely. So play this very short and articulated, and I would use your fourth uh, fourth finger. Okay, so let's go to the next page. Okay, we have more 16th notes. So. Getting softer and softer. And then just really soft. Keep your vibrato going when it's soft. Okay, at five we have tremolo. I would do this in third position so it's not bright on the E string. So fourth finger on G, again fingerboard. Okay, then these are tricky, you have to really count. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven after five. Let's do it slowly. Uh, actually, let's go over fingering first. So we could do, you could do third position, three, one, three, one, one, three. That's only if you really don't want to do second, I would do second which would be four on B, two on G, then one, that way two and one, it's already there. Okay, so four, two, four, two, one, three, then shift to first position, three, one, three, one. Then here you could stay in first or go to third. First would be, or third would be, four, two, four, two, three, one. Then you can go down to first again. Absolutely, you do not want to go like this, right? So, C natural. Okay, so let's do it like this. We'll go from the one one measure of tremolo, okay? So once you can practice getting to second position. So G, then you're going to go there with four. Okay, so one... Two, three, E, and a four, E, and a one, two. 
So if the fourth finger, when it's faster, is hard, then you could also do, once you do the, once you do that, the next part can be still first, then here on the C, D, replace that through with two, so second position. Now you're in second position, one, three, one, three, one, three, two, three. That's the same, so. Forte piano. Okay, so make sure you really get those. Forte pianos. Okay, then we have more 16s. I think you guys have those. We can just do them once. So one, two. And this is. So that's a big arrival. Then again, it starts off. Have these little so very soft and clear so you could do that shifting oops don't do that or you could do you could also do second position or you could do first position so make sure it's low one the half step you could also do low two one a sharp on the G string so then you're already in that position Okay, then four one, four one, four one. As you get louder, don't go, don't do all that bow. Okay, then here, definitely hook, definitely hook those. So stop your bow. Lots of sixteenths. Okay, I bet you want a fingering for this. So let's do from the fourth measure, first position. Now third position. Four, three, two, one. Make sure B flat and A touch. Four, three, two, one. Again, two and one touching. Now fifth position, so you just did. So fifth position, you're gonna put one where the F was, where the three was. So that would be your guide tone. So that you get the high F, okay? So this is four on F, three on E flat, touching two on D, one on C. Now stay in position, go to the next string. Four, touching A, G, F natural. Then stay in position instead of F natural. We're going to do F sharp. So one half step up, F sharp, four, three, two on D, touching C sharp. And you can stay in position here and do four, touching three, two, one. Or you could also shift there. So you could do four, three, Two, one, and then you could go to third position. Two, touching one, four, touching three. Okay, so that one's probably easier than, I think is easier than actually crossing for that one. So then, then. every time these are starting from the string. 
Don't go. Don't, right. From place. Okay. Um. Then we have more of the tremolos in the sixteenths. So let's go to before rehearsal ten. Go to the slurred sixteenth. So here you could do um. If you were on D, before that in third position, and then you could do four, two, four, two, and then make sure this is C natural. B sharp is C natural, so it's basically C E flat. So you could do four, two, four, two, one, three, one, three. Okay, if you want to shift, you could, that's a little shift, so just reaching back basically. Okay, then here you could cross, or as you could do, or if you want to shift, you can go to first position, quick, quick shift, then same thing, uh, so that's four, two, one, two, big stretch, or you could do one, three, Make sure you move the third finger. Shift. So you can, again, you can do string crossing, but it's, I think it's much easier to do these little shifts. So three, one, three, one, shift. Then four, one. Now you don't get a choice, you have to do. Again, don't go. Right? Little, use your wrist for the string crossings, okay? Then here you can do, so just for that one, then you can do open. Shift, three, one. Okay, then after 10, the next line, again we have these 16ths. <laughs> Then these are really very light. Okay, so here, let's see. I would do third position. Here, reach up for G sharp instead of four, put a three there. So they touch across the strings. Then you can go back to sec uh, third position. Uh, the bottom. You can do that all in first position, it's fine. You can also shift, of course, to third. Um, okay, then I think we got all of these. This stuff before, but that's just third position there. This is on the page 14, so third position for a long time. Um, then these are this, just be careful with these. with your pitches. Okay, that one's tricky. So E sharp, let's do F natural, think F natural, so low two. Low one, then you could do high three, one, high three, and here you could either do high four, or you could do low one, so just be careful of the pitches in that measure. Okay, then the next measure. And then at the end, those are triplets. So we have 
uh, on the top, you could do basically third position. So think of G sharp as A flat. So if you're already in third position on C natural, then think of low one for G sharp. So. position. Uh, so you can do the top could play the B, bottom could play the G sharp. And the bottom would be Okay, again the chord from the string. Don't press lots of bow and and vibrate. Okay? All right. Happy practicing.